Leadhead, and I'm coming with my shave of the day for today. It's January 6, 2017, and I wanted to say thank you uh, for joining me for the shave today. Definitely do appreciate it. Hope you uh, are doing well. Hope your week went well. Uh, Saturday today, so I'm <clears throat> glad to be off work. It was a short week, but it's always tough coming back from a long vacation, so <laughs> but that's fine. <clears throat> so I did want to get into the shave today here. I got a couple days worth of growth. Just figured Saturday morning, my wife just left to go to her... Uh, like workout class kind of thing and I'm gonna be home for a little bit so just figured let's get the shave on you know might as well <laughs> you know treat yourself <laughs> okay so let's get started here I wanted to go through some of the equipment uh, some of the hardware some of the software I'll be using today uh, on the hardware side the razor I'm gonna be using is gonna be the Phoenix Artisan or PAA Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, Bakelite Open Comb Slant that's what it looks like here I've been using this race uh, recently. I've been getting some pretty good shaves out of it. I like it a lot. Uh, my wife got this for me for Christmas, so it's pretty light, but it uh, has been giving me some good, pretty good shaves here. New blade in this. Uh, this is a Rapira stainless. Just make it. <clears throat> and on the blade it says Rapira Super Steel, I think. So first time I'm using this blade. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I haven't been having too great of luck with those new blades I've been trying out. I'm just going to adjust this tab. There we go. <clears throat> but we'll see how this goes. So <laughs> hopefully it'll be a winner. Russian blades seem to, have, seem to do well with them, so we'll see. Okay, so that's the razor and the blade. Uh, the brush I'm going to be using is the Haircut and Shave Co. 24mm tuxedo style knot here with this uh, barber pole handle. Uh, very nice. I like this uh, a lot. Very soft, uh, got some good backbone, good spring to the bristles here. The Feels good in the hand here. I definitely recommend them. Uh, check them out, like 12 bucks on Amazon, something like that. So, haircut and shave go. The soap I'll be using, software side. Uh, this is one I got for myself for Christmas. My father got me a gift card to Maggard Razors, so I put in a, an order. And I think this might be my favorite scent, actually, of all the soaps that I got. It's a... Uh, Sapone de Paolo, and this one is Toroso, was that, Amber Patchouli and Oak, it smells really good, and I think they even put a, <clears throat> yeah, a little annotation here, it says, earthy, that's a good descriptor, I'd say like sweet earthy, it has a bit of a smell actually of the, uh, Wildwood Shaving Co. Annie Oakley. And that's violets and oakleys and uh, acorn and some other things. But I think somebody was saying when they smelled the uh, Annie Oakley, this meant all I'm getting is oak. And I was like, huh. Cause I, I guess I don't, I don't really know what violets smell like. You know, it's not something I go sniffing often. But if uh, maybe it's the oak that's sweet. <clears throat> that's a very sweet scent. <clears throat> and this is... This definitely has a sweet note to it. So I wonder if that, that's the oak that I'm smelling, maybe. But <clears throat> yeah, this stuff smells awesome. I really like it a lot. I did a shave with this on New Year's Eve. And whoo, boy, I liked it a lot. So I did it off camera, though. So Sapone di Paolo. That's the Toroso. And this is like a scent I haven't seen a lot of people use. So I figured I'd go with it, you know, try something a little different. I think they're one of their more, more popular is like lime and basil, but I'm going to go with something else. So, okay, so next for the aftershave, I'll be using uh, Panade Clubman. I just figured I'd go with this. I like this stuff a lot. It's just great stuff. <clears throat> and the balm, uh, Navy Men Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm. Okay, so that's some of the hardware and the soft I'll be using for the shave. So we can go ahead and uh, get the shave started. So uh, let's go ahead and rock the shave out. Okay, so uh, to get started here, I'm just going to take my brush and run it under some hot water here to get it wet. I never <laughs> run the water down here first. So it takes a little bit to get warm. There it goes. Keep it wet. <clears throat> I'm going to take a little bit of hot water. Put it on the face here. Okay. So we'll take off this uh, lid. And this is what the soap looks like. See there, I used it before. Ah, firmish. You know, it's you could put a dent in it, but it's firmer. <clears throat> okay, 
Okay, so I'm just going to put a hot water through this again. And I will give a couple of flicks, get the water out, and I'll bring it to the puck here. And we'll load this up for 30 seconds or so, boy. Yeah, I really got a good lather with this last time, so hopefully I can replicate today. I don't see why not. I might have put too much water in there. Too much water in the brush there. <clears throat> you see, it's just a little bit. It's like going all over the place here. I don't know, so I'll probably go with that. It's like crazy. It's just going nuts on me. I barely did anything. <laughs> okay, so I'll bring it to the face. We'll start building up the ladder here. It's just a beautiful set. I like it a lot. And that is a nice lather. I'm liking that a lot. <clears throat> this is good stuff. I would definitely recommend it. I think it's pretty expensive too. <clears throat> There's no more than 13. Oh, yeah. 13. Or, sorry, no more than $14. So it was either 12 or 14 But yeah, real good stuff. Okay, so... Uh, First pass here with the uh, slant going with the grain. Yeah. <laughs> Not the best blade. <laughs> it's hurt. God. It's hugging me crazy. We'll see. What if I tighten it? I did open it up a bit. So I might have got a little blade chatter there. Let's try that. And that's bad. Look at that. Going right down. I like the, the soap does that. It goes, <laughs> goes right down the side. So this blade isn't the, <clears throat> the smoothest, but you know what? I'll keep giving it a try, you know, see if that helps. <laughs> On the uh, site, a refined shave. The guy does uh, blade testing. He tests like initial sharpness and things like that. And uh, almost all the blades, <clears throat> after their first use, they actually get sharper. <clears throat> some a little bit, some a lot. I don't know that he graded this one. <clears throat> First pass, so uh, pretty good besides it being a little bit tuggy, so lather 
up again here. This is nice stuff. I really like this. <clears throat> it's such a nice scent. Very pleasant. Like this is right in my alley, this kind of scent. Like if this was a cologne, I'd definitely wear it. Okay, so the second pass will go across the grain here from the inside out. Try to pay slight more attention to right here. Seems like the past couple of shaves, it's been a little bit rougher here. <clears throat> so I'm trying to try to get that closer, <clears throat> and maybe go. Let me try and do this. Just do a kind of a double across, you know, one way than the other. It's not nearly as bad on the second pass because there's just not as much hair anymore, but well, you know, okay. I have no idea what we're going to do this weekend yet. Just, it seems like the past few weeks, every weekend has been crazy, you know what I mean? So it's just like, you know, New Year's last week and Christmas and all that crap before. And the week before that was just like getting ready for the holidays. So I wonder if we're going to have just a chill kind of weekend this week. I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> Or maybe tomorrow. I think my wife did say something about having like a lot of our family. Oh, look at that. We're talking. Well, third pass here. Maybe have them over for uh, some bagels. Because the house is not as clean as it was for Christmas, but it's, you know, pretty good still. So maybe uh, have some of my family over. Yeah, you know, have a nice little bagel day. If not this weekend, maybe next weekend. In fact, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if most people are burnt out <clears throat> too and they want a nice just relaxing weekend and not do much. Third pass coming against the grain here. <clears throat> so I just watched uh, Don F's most recent video. You shave with the Durham Duplex. That's pretty cool. I've been wanting to try out one of those. I've been looking at them on eBay. And they're not expensive. You can get them for like 10 bucks. <clears throat> but, I don't know. I just... I've been, I've been really like... Uh, slacking on doing my online surveys. I haven't done an online survey in months. So I don't have any extra cash to spend on shaving stuff. Really. <clears throat> So I, I should get back into it. So, so I have some. So I can start picking up some stuff that I wanted to get here. Even though I did get a, a good amount of stuff for Christmas. So, you know, I shouldn't be too unhappy with. Frankly, I have enough stuff now to last me quite a while. But you know that how it is. You just always want to try some new stuff and. Like, you know, I wanted a slant, and I got a slant. 
I almost bought it for myself, but came me by way of my wife. I'm liking it, so I'm glad I got one. <clears throat> one thing I really want to get I keep saying it <coughs> I want to get <coughs> a mount on my uh, my mirror here for my phone I always don't think about it though like if I get something maybe one day seems to be working okay for now but like I said you know I'm not getting right up in the camera and <laughs> can't see exactly what I'm doing like, you don't see what I do on this side of the face basically really at all Hey, you work with what you got. Okay, so that's third pass. So feeling pretty good there. I'll go ahead and I'll put on a little bit more here just to feel around for pickups. Just a slight bit of water. Not much. Yeah, this is, uh, I love this. It is just beautiful. I highly recommend it. <clears throat> and a lot of it is up like a beast. Good stuff. It's Tony DiPaolo. And he was another uh, guy that I saw on uh, Mantic 59's channel. He was doing an interview with him at the Maggards meetup. And he kind of piqued my interest, so I... Right here. Pretty smooth, though, i got to tell you. You know, for this blade not being so hot at the beginning, uh, the rest of the great. <clears throat> yeah, pretty dang smooth here. Not bad at all. This might be a good combo. I might hit BBS again. I've always had like DFS shaves, damn fine shaves, but <clears throat> I don't have BBS too much. And uh, this might be pretty dang close. Yeah, this is just kind of nitpicky stuff, but that's like me chasing it just to make sure. Okay. Maybe just one click. Okay, and I think that's good. <clears throat> I'm telling you, this is close. Very close shave. This is a good combo for me, for whatever reason. You know, I have a smaller towel there to do this, but I totally went grab the other one. Might have to chop this down a little bit. Very nice. So I'm going to put a little cold, uh, little cold water splash here. <clears throat> okay, I'll 
bring me Alan to the face here. We'll see, to, see what it has to say. Little, but nothing too much. On the neck, but no more than usual. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so dang, I feel pretty good. find a good adjustment on this <clears throat> with the razor here because I think when I first started I opened it up too much I had a lot of blade chatter so I had to like bring it all the way down and like just open it up a bit I seem to do the job <clears throat> still a new razor you know I'll find the you know where I just kind of maybe I feel but whew, boy, that is a close shave I gotta tell you that is close feel good okay so now I'm going to post shave here, after shave, but not clubbing. I'm going to feel the burn on this one, I can tell you right now, probably. But yeah, it's going to be a good burn. Actually, not bad. A little bit. Burns, but not as bad as I thought. <laughs> okay, so close that up. We'll put on the Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Poche Bomb. So what burn I have, I'm sure this will help take it away. Feels great. <clears throat> yeah, so an excellent shave here. Head is very smooth. Pretty much BBS. So awesome. Okay, so that takes care of the uh, shave of the day for today. So I did want to say uh, thank you for uh, checking out the video. Definitely do appreciate that. Uh, please like and comment below. Definitely like, you know, getting both of those. Uh, you can also please subscribe if you haven't already. You can either do that below or I'll leave a link that you click on right here. And I would also suggest uh, checking out some other videos. I'll leave a suggested video you can click on right here. So again, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Hope you have some great shades.